Hey guys, it's Porker Bears, and welcome back to my FIFA 17 Liverpool from old, old season. I've continued its path to. Oh, we're almost halfway through season. And, uh, yeah. So I have a league game against Southampton, of course, and then I have a league cup game against Palace. We'll try not to make any slips in the commentary, but there might be some slips out on the pitch, Alan, in these wet conditions. Yeah, and uh, I don't think it's going to stop during the course of the match, so I don't think it's going to affect the game in any way in terms of calling it off, but it might get very wet for the players. Here's the Southampton team for you. Goalkeepers Paolo Gattaniga, Cuco Martina plays alongside Matt Target in the fullback positions. James Ward Prowse plays today with Pierre Emil Hoiberg in the centre of the pitch. And it's good to see them going with two strikers today. Big reshuffle for Liverpool. Thibaut Courtois starts in goal. Nathaniel Klein starts with David Alaba as the fullbacks. Renato Sanchez Ooh. plays with Deli Ali in the centre of the park. And the strike force. Sadio Again, show away. Very good stop here. Liverpool have won a corner. <laughs> and shoots. Matt Tip. Gone for goal. Spectacular style. Great, great job. Expecting it to be really a great. celebration great. there. It's Ward Prowse. And there's a chance playing at home to extend this run of two consecutive victories into three. Yeah, the, and the way they played in those previous two, I, I can see them making it three as well. Ah, oh, oh, damn it. The situation for the moment with that interception. After all that hard work of getting past almost everybody, I. He fuck it up just at the crucial point. Roberto Firmino. He'll need to try and get the ball back now. Klein. Well, in terms of goal scoring, we should see a few today. Liverpool are leading the way in the goal charts. Yeah, maybe they'd fancy themselves to grab one or two here. The form that the strikers have been in. Roberto Firmino. Firmino. Well here. typified the competitive nature of this game, that tackle. It's only a throw-in. Fanyol Klein! Really, this is pretty much an FF. In history. He's a, and both of the teams I'm playing in this episode are his former clubs. So Hampton and Crystal Palace. Played down the wing. Keeping the wide attack going. There you go. Carrying the ball forward. Turnover there that we didn't expect. The throw to come up now after so it's gone it would out. be filling if he's more than Martinez. No, I guaranteed to happen. And his uh, goal scoring record in this career most so far has been uh The good thing about these pitches these days, even when we're getting rain like we're getting here, it just goes Defender! Straight. It does. And, uh, level. It means the ball moves. Saying that uh, Coutinho! On target again. Coutinho with a touch. Doesn't even matter. Philip Coutinho makes it 1-0. So a real captain's contribution here with a fine goal. Was a good goal. And it came second. Goal for his side. Well, captain's input there. 
number 10. And that has opened the scoring. 1-0 here. Now target. Ruiz. Ruiz. Patience is the name of the game at the moment. Tackle goes in. Well, this is how this team can play. Sustained attacking football. But when they lose it, as they've done now, it's just a risk that they might get caught out. It's Ward Prowse. Liverpool leading. But it's a pretty slender margin at this stage. We've got half time coming up. We yes. want to get there with this lead still intact. Soon intercepts the attempt to pass. Tackle here. James Ward Prowse. Trying to switch on the. Trying for goal. Yeah. That had it for like all over it. Well, when you see him this season, he's finished. Harder chances than that. I don't think he can believe it. Oh, well. Two more minutes to be played then. Added time. Ali. Ali time. Is that you get there? Take four. So it's 1 0 here as the half time whistle goes. 1-0 half-time. With Delhi out. Spurs are beating Millsborough, which is uh, not what I was hoping to see. Can I was kind of hoping to see Spurs drop it on route to underway. dropping more points. But they're only 1-0 up. I think that's all mine. Made the challenge well. That attack was looking good. Now the opposition have a chance. He's read that, hasn't he? And made the interception. Made it look easy, actually. Three. Should be. Go on, Divock. Ah. Test kick. Good work, Renato. Well, a real treat. He lost the play. Still good. It back. Second game away fixture. from you. For Southampton, they'll be facing West Ham United away from home. Yeah, I've had Don't ask supporters. me how that works. I'm not Trying sure either. And I am as well. There's some potential in this not. move. Corner to come. Uh, that works. That's a corner. Tackle that sent the ball behind. It was a very Pen... good effort earlier. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll well, look at the goalkeeper's goal position. In position in or or at least give it a team. proper try. No. Uh, End the threat at least for the moment. It's all good. It's all good. Fuck it. Here is good control yeah. build up. Corner here for Liverpool. <laughs> the goalkeeper comes out with a punch. Shot off. Mio. Yeah. Get in the way there. That's a good spot by the defender. Yeah, Emil Hoybjerg. I don't think anyone. What about the Liverpool's next game? Fucking the Hampton players in the next match. Wait, wait how many defenders are they playing? This one. Attacking well here. I'm joking, of course. I'm rushing it here, moving from one side to the other. Back. I'm sure they should be focused on scoring against me, you know. Uh, going on all out to park the bus. He's a all out attack. They were all out attack. No one. 20 minutes now. Remaining. It's Matt Target. I'd probably go all out attack if I score another goal. It's Kuko Martina. And they're passing so well out there. Ruiz. Shots on here. Shot blocked here. And it's now with Liverpool. Right. Counter attack. Go for it. And he could get away here. Nice bit of footwork from the attacker. But he was made. Riggy! Oh! You've got to be kidding me! Because he knows the game's not done. They're just one up and it really should have been A great run. A great cross. The shot looked good. 
until it reached its destination, which was in the back of the net. Liverpool will get the throw. Thibaut Carigi. Greedy. Attacking now. That's Nathaniel Fine. Gets his foot in there. Runs into his sheet at Brilliant. Ah, a very fit side. And they're going to have to show that fitness now to try and get something in the latter stages of this game. One or two signs of the visitors. Oh! Mistake from Gar. Gar. Money! Ali! 2 0! That's the three points we're after, and it's all from a mistake from, from Sam Gallagher. One idiot. Oh, that's a lovely poacher's goal. I mean, he may as well put it the ball in his own net. It didn't help that the keeper er, put in a challenge at the defender who popped. Possibly could have prevented Deli Alley getting his first goal of the season. Wait, that's his first goal of the season? What? Oh. This... Well, they've got to get goals, haven't they? And the only way to do it, uh, the manager thinks, is to get another attacker on. <laughs> it will make the game more open, but he's got to take that risk. Yeah, he's got to. Hurry, good bin to the fifteen, and that's your first goal. Well, Alley. Good huh. forward play from them. I, so far, I to say that. five on target know. for Liverpool. Well, for the for the chances created, they've done okay. Oh, foul! Oh. Against Southampton. Yes, thank you. Ah, yeah, yellow card as well. And it's a bad one, yellow. Ah, uh, eat That's shit, go away. Point. Well, the clock is. I wasn't down. intending it for him to get booked, but uh, I'll take it. Rigi, Michael down the other run and score, and he has! There's the. Uh, there's the three points wrapped up. Well, very nicely placed, Alan. I mean, the three points were already wrapped up. It was on the verge of being the 90th minute. And Let's see the replay now. And that was 2 0 up. But a counter attack. Leads to goal number three. And it leads to three points. Fantastic. Sixth goal of the season for Divo Carigi. He's got a good bit to go if he's going to catch Mane, who I think is on 13 goals. As the game gets underway. The board has gone up to indicate three added minutes. Tells you how much Gallagher Mane is enjoying season five. Dangerous. Here's Hoybjerg. Challenges for the ball. Tino, is there another goal in this? Ah. Maya Yoshida. Hello, that's a free kick. Or you can blow the full-time whistle, that works too. Well, it turned out to be a different kind of game to the one perhaps we set up for you at the beginning. God damn it. Were Spurs marrying me or something? 3-0, both of us picked up 3-0 wins. Granted, I don't know where Millsborough are in the table. They might be bombed for all I know. Wait. That's a weird thought. I thought Millsborough went down last season. Why did I just think that? I mean, clearly they didn't. Were they in the relegation zone? Maybe they were. Millsborough are 8th, Southampton are 16th. Chelsea are back in the relegation zone. Good, that's um. Uh, yeah, that continues to make no sense. I 
And Chelsea fans, I have, I have unfortunate news for you. John Terry, all this time, he's not only been a horrible person, he's a fucking idiot. Here's John Terry logic, ladies and gentlemen. He joined Aston Villa, he turned down Premier League offers because he didn't want to face Chelsea. Someone should tell him the League Cup and the FA Cup exist and that Aston Villa could get Chelsea in that. Yeah, and what? Is he going to say, oh shit, I completely forgot about those. Man's a fucking idiot. Did he seriously forget that those competitions exist? Like, I don't want to believe that he did. Him saying that he turned down Premier League offers because he didn't want to face Chelsea makes it sound like Aston Villa are immune from facing Chelsea in cup competitions. I don't know, maybe he's going to pers personally sabotage Villa's attempts at a cup run just to make sure that they don't. And what if Villa get promoted, Terry? What are you going to do then? Hmm? Fucking class A moron. None of that makes any sense. There's a big glaring hole in that little idea that John Terry had. It's called the cup competition. You know, like I'm entering in here. Her against Crystal Palace. Surely, if he wanted to avoid Chelsea altogether, he would have gone to a lower league team in a now different country. Clubs in the now, English maybe he didn't want to leave country. England, and but that's what Wales and yeah. Scotland are for. Taking this competition seriously sure. and They're outside of it, and you don't have to... Coming up now, Crystal Palace. The English teams. Like, you could have gone to a team like... Um... St. Johnston. I don't know. I don't know why St. Johnston was the first team into my head. But there you go. They never. They wouldn't have to play Chelsea at all. In his last three, the talisman for the team here, no doubt. Liverpool, hoping that they can reach the same heights again as they did in their away win against Southampton. I mean, yeah, three 0 comfortable for them, and uh, they're flying at the moment. He's trying to avoid having to play against Chelsea. Well, when you look at this lineup, it's almost unrecognisable from the last one for Crystal Palace. Steve Mandanda starts in goal. Pap Suarez starts with Joel Ward in the full position. He's gone about it the complete wrong way. way. He's going to need some serious luck. Teke is the sole striker today. Now, granted, there's a ton of teams in both the FA Cup well, and the Cavalry Cup. for them today. But we think the middle might be a diamond, Alan. Yeah, and it gives them a bit of solidity in the middle of the park. And I think uh, the onus is on the like Chelsea won't come into the shape. FA Cup until the third round. Villa, I the attack here. they will probably have to compete in the, at the least the second round, there, not the first. And that's broken up by the defender before the cross could come in. And now the shot! Good block in with the chance. And the goal but ladies and gentlemen, if Aston Villa play Chelsea next season, we can all, all look back at John Terry saying, Oh, I don't want to play against Chelsea. I didn't want to play against Chelsea. That's why I don't know. I'm probably offer. I can just imagine the first drawing where they're both in the competition. Aston Villa, Chelsea. And I can just imagine John Terry sitting there thinking, oh shit. And he heads it for goal. Cleared it well. Liverpool will get the throw. There's some potential in this move. I actually, I'm, 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 I'm gonna, that, that's, that's the, well, that'll be, be man, this match's 
the freaking season next season if it happens. The international side on a part-time basis and keep this job. Yeah, I mean, he's got to think carefully, I think. And I pray that they have a camera on hand to capture John Terry's reaction when he sees that his master plan didn't work. Excellent header, probably deserved a bit better from it. Yeah, he's one of the best headers of the ball in this league, I think. It'll be hilarious. Can't keep the ball at the moment. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition. Now they're here. So now a goal kick to come. Makes a challenge here. Liverpool get the advantage. Play on. Use the advantage now to your advantage. LeBlanc. Mullen! Ah! Oh. That's... That's not the pass I said to you make. That's not the pass I said to make. Free kick given by the ref. Yo, people are just pissing all over Gomez. And now he's going to sort out that earlier. First he was fouled. This time he gets pushed. Ooh, committed the foul. Yeah, he doesn't miss much. This ref, he's he's eager. Oh no, the go. He wanted to give the team a chance. Wait, was it Boza? He's going to produce the yellow for that. Now it goes into the wider areas. Oh, where careful. Winger waiting. Look very good indeed. Yeah, the, that time he pushed Fayor. The the winger Fayor. Challenges for the ball. Really strong. Oh, in case ball. you didn't know, Fayor, the goalkeeper, is back from his uh, interception. Lengthy spell out with an injury. But he's had a go. Well, if you don't buy a ticket, as they say. Turning here uh, against Crystal Palace. Not had anything to do yet. I ain't had a touch of the ball yet. Possession in the midfield area. Attacking now. Well, he slipped his man. Possession changes feet. Return pass. You know what? I'm, I'm not going to bother calling fouls against obvious fouls anymore because no foul is an obvious foul great great uh, great pass Benteke you don't play for Liverpool anymore but thanks <laughs> oh you got he got poor guy got confused Keeping possession. he was like oh shit am I still losing yep thank you penalty yellow card for you it's a yellow card Alan I think that's fair enough from the ref. Jemerson. It was a clear foul and it's a clear penalty. I don't even know who I want. Looks like it's a uh, 70 penalties. Shit! The penalty was saved but it came right back to me. And they've been playing well enough to deserve this goal. Mandanda saved it with his is um what a leg goal to watch it must and be they came right back oh those kind of rebound goals used to me and well I was never gonna miss because Mandanda was in full position to stop the ball from going into the back of the net so the first goal it's one nil the added time is and I think four that's four goals now for Martin. Well, no shots at no, all so far. That's his uh, first goal in English football. This is only goals so far have been in the Champions League. Well, the referee has signaled for half time. <laughs> that's, a, that's a nice way to end the first half. Uh, if I were a freaking palace manager, I would be fuming.
not only really good contest at the, uh, for a place in the, at the penalty the he being conceded. The second half to go, and here it is, it's starting now. Sometimes comes down to who wants it the most. Uh, I would be like, Christian, you know you don't play for Liverpool anymore. You don't uh, have to pass the try. ball to them. Well, he's thrown possession away. James McCarthy. Well, a real treat in store for you. Coverage on EA Sports of the Premier League fixture for Crystal Palace. They'll be hosting Everton. Yeah, a lot of people have been talking about this one. Looking forward to it. Palace about to make a change here. Marco Arnautovic. This attack very well. To a quite a dangerous position now. Or still doesn't get a touch of the ball. Well, his dome is clear. And they cut it out. James MacArthur. The return ball. Oh, oh what? We're not going to call that a little... Oh? There we go. Hey, there we go. He didn't fall to pieces. There we go. He's back. <laughs> What about Liverpool's next game? Well, they're playing Swansea City in the next match. And I can only see one winner. I think now Coast to. Cross coming in now. Go Blanc. Wow, that was awful. Well, now they're behind. They truly so awful. Thank you. Things around. Mm -hmm. And here comes a substitution. We needed that. Blanc really did. Good forward play from them. Crystal Palace have a substitute getting ready. And here's the shot. Well, it's uh, a long way off target. Crystal Palace from another pitch. Number two, Joe Ward. To be replaced by number 46, Michael King. Building steadily here, keeping position. Oh, yeah. That's a very good tackle, but it's led to a corner. Uh -huh. Goes for goal with the header. Off the post. Oh, whistle's gone. Free kick. Gone on one possession back with that tackle. Damn it. I was trying to take it quickly and catch Paz off guard, but it does read the I game well. He walked into them. Oh, That's brilliant. a good spot by the defender. Not as usual. Fair. Space. It's Moya. Fine moment for them. Two nil. They're two ahead. That is much better. Well, this is the team in form, isn't it? They are excellent, these players today, and they've got their reward here. Well, you look at all of them, they all fancy getting on the score sheet. They're all drifting forward. Restarting at 2 0. Doesn't really matter what substitution pass make now, it's all but over. Schultz. We've got uh, 10 minutes left on the clock. He will be going through to the quarterfinals, and they will be going out. Nearly up here, and just throw it forward a bit to their next game. Well, Crystal Palace go up against. Everton Could pull off a goal here. Very good good here. save first. Coming up now. A Saving in ages because of that injury. A decent fist away by the keeper. Commanding punch. That's good. Come on. Ah, oh, damn it. I was trying to get past the man and. Run onto the, the ball. Well, that's why I headered it. Attempted pass, not a good one. 
Good anticipation by the opposing player there to read the direction of the throw. It's going to go out harmlessly for a goal kick. It's going to be Liverpool's day. Bears for goal kick. Are absolutely loving it. Oh, okay. right behind their team from the very off. And uh, that team has responded to that support. Here's a chance to attack. Well, that's a shame because he is tired. He's getting on the ball, but it's a big effort from him. Uh, He's, now. He's made the save. Both times he had to make a save, both times he was That's completely fine. From the referee, Liverpool have won. My keeper returns in. Well, winning is all that matters. Mm -hmm. and they have nice and, and calm style. Oh, nothing too worrying that would cause a lot from that might end up harming him more for re injuring him. So, good to see no, inj no worries about re-injuring himself. All is good. All is good. Uh, sorry, Rico. You, uh, I won't. I won't be doing that. But you can play in the game against um. Wait. Yeah, you can play in the game against Bruges, which will be the second game of the next episode. Until then, thanks for watching. I'm Joy. Smash the like button if you did. Subscribe if you're new. And until next time, I hope you all have a very Nice Peace.